Welcome to the second episode of Food with Alessia uh, on our wonderful Dutch blog. Um, today we're going to have a very nice other Dutch tradition that is that traditional that there's even a pancake house in Chicago that is called Pannenkoeken House. Today we'll have pancakes, Pannenkoeken. And uh, with the Pannenkoeken we will have apples with cinnamon, ham and cheese, and some sugary stuff like Budesauke and Stroop. So we did use a ready-made pancake mix. I know, sorry for that. But the interesting thing with these is you uh, you shake them. You know, you just add some milk, you shake, and then you put them in the pan. So it's really handy, actually. Um, but yeah, you will see that in a minute. And so, what are you doing, Alessia? Well, you know, I'm trying Dutch food, mm. eating Dutch food, approving Dutch food, maybe. Ah, maybe. Perfect, yeah. just like last time. Sounds awesome. <laughs> Let's get on to it. Let's start. Our first pancake creation, the pannenkoek met kaneel and apple. Mm. Amazingly tasty. I really like the combination between apple and cinnamon, which is just delicious. And it's really nice that pannenkoek, or pannenkoek, what's a singular? Pannenkoek. Pannenkoek, yes. Pannenkoek is really nice because it's a bit thick. Secret ingredient will have some onions on it. Yes, I know. Not really, completely, entirely traditional. <laughs> but that's fine. All right. I gotta get this thing turned around. Go. Mmm. Pancake number two. This is even bigger than the one with apples. <laughs> Better. I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. Mm. I think it's really funny because the taste is totally different. I mean, it's the same thing, it's still pannenkoek, but it's so different. I prefer sweet stuff in general, especially cinnamon, so I prefer the one before. But cheese and ham is just really go well together. The onion as well, I think. Maybe even without. I don't know. I don't, I'm not really fond of onions in general in this case. But, but it's still approved, yeah. Still really tasty. No, 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 no. Come on! I'm you have to roll it. You have to roll it. You have to roll it first. Oh, why do you roll everything? I don't know. You is just. There a, is there a reason? You just. What? Oh. It's just easier to eat, you know? Like this? Exactly like Can that. Can I go now? Yeah. But it's a good way of finishing, I think, because I'm really full, eager to still have a piece of it. And well, this one that really looks and tastes a bit like maple syrup. The strobe, yeah. Strobe. It's a bit thicker. It tastes as good as well, though. So, so, so even in this case, 
I approve. Awesome. Bonnebook was before 1996. It was spelled Bonnebook without the N. And after 1996, they modified the spelling, and now it's Bonnebook. And yeah. So, what was your favorite one of the three? Of course, Apple and Seven. Number that two. Was, that was extremely sweet and even the one with the cheese in hand, maybe, I don't know. Probably because of the fact that we had cheese inside, it seems more Dutch to me than the others. I don't know, but the best one was the one with cinnamon. Is it something you just eat for breakfast? Or just like it was lunch? We ate mainly, as, as far as we did with my family, we ate mainly had it for dinner. But you can have it for lunch as well. It's not really common for breakfast, you know? Like okay. in the US or so, it's not really I, I thought, you know, just since it's sweet, at least it's one with apples, I thought breakfast, but... Nope. Breakfast is on the Mm-hmm. And Hagelschlag. And Hagelschlag, yeah. Pindergaard. 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 Pindergaard.